Scott Wheeler with the GOP Trust. Dot com, the Political Action Committee of the Republican Party uh, sent us a, a press release. Well, now, Big Bro Obama is at it again, pulling out all the Gestapo stops in his battle with the American public. Uh, on the 60th anniversary of 1984, Barack Obama has called for a civilian national security force. And uh, it goes on to talk about the uh, white, you know, flag at whitehouse.gov. Here's what Obama had to say about that, and, we'll, and then we'll bring uh, Mr. Wheeler on. I'm one of the people comments. that turned myself in on the White House, web, the White House webpage the other day for being a skeptic of this bill. I'm okay, proud okay, to have okay, done okay, so. Okay, okay, Let, okay, but before, before you answer this question, just because you referred to it, can I just say this is another example of how uh, the, the media ends up just completely distorting what's taking place. What we've said is that if somebody has, if you get an email from somebody that says, for example, Obamacare is creating a death panel, <laughs> forward us the email and we will answer the question that's raised in the email. Suddenly, on some of these news outlets, this is being portrayed as Obama collecting an enemies list. <laughs> now, come on guys, I, you know, here I am trying to be responsive the questions that are being raised out there and appreciated and I just want to be clear that all we're trying to do is answer questions okay Scott Wheeler with the GOP trust the uh, RNC's political action committee uh, you're you're calling the president a Gestapo uh, well my question is would you buy a used car from that man sure <laughs> now in a heartbeat this, be, be honest, Tom. If George W. Bush had asked, made such a request for the anti-war movement, which was really strongly anti-American in some some aspects of it, uh, some organizations of it, had done the same thing, the you Indian, guys on the are, left would have are, gone ballistic over this, and don't deny it. Are you saying that the anti-war movement, the, 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 those of us who thought that we shouldn't drop bombs on a country that had nothing, that had never invaded us and represented no threat to us, that we shouldn't kill a million people, that we shouldn't, that, are you saying that that, that was anti-American? I would say, sir, that if you were supporting the bombing of those people, the, that you have the blood of a million people on your hands and you are complicit to murder. Don't tell me you bought into this uh, this birther style rumor about a million people dying in Iraq. You, 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 you're really buying that? Yes. Well, I, I can tell you it's absolutely not true. Not even three percent of it. Okay. How many people have died in Iraq? Uh, about forty-five thousand. Okay. Then you have forty-five thousand people's death on your hands, Scott Wheeler. Or, and, and how can you look were, at yourself uh, in the well, mirror? Well, well, Tom, how many people would have died if, if, if uh, a, a, many of those 45,000 weren't killed? None. Uh, but, well, then that's, that's completely, uh, you can't even argue I mean, you know, are you trying to suggest... Who was, who, who was killing people left and right, uh, being killed, that one death saved dozens, perhaps hundreds, maybe a thousand, if he had carried out any of their big attacks like they did on 9-11. Yeah, the 9-11 justifies everything, doesn't it? Well, I, first of all, you, you say that a country that was not a threat to us, but you know the French, the people were, you guys in the Democrat Party. Let me, let me just ask you a question, Scott. Had... Here, you had George W. Bush wiretapping over a million U.S. citizens. You had him listening, you had his people, the people at the NSA, listening to the telephone conversations of U.S. soldiers abroad in this war that he started for his own political purposes, talking to their loved ones about their sex lives and making recordings and joking about that. And and you got no problem with that. But but as soon as Barack Obama says, hey, if somebody's telling lies about our, about our program... There was no million people wiretapped. It was like two dozen terrorists talking to terrorists abroad who were wiretapped. This other nonsense is, is the, in the, uh, uh, I don't know where that comes from. It came from, from. the, it came, uh, it came from the NSA, uh, actually. Yeah, possibly, you can't, oh, really? And yes, the, the NSA, I saw that interview, too, right? Because the NSA issues press releases, and that's where I saw it, right? The NSA said that? Scott. That's ludicrous. Yeah, and now here you've got Obama insisting people uh, report uh, people who say something fishy about his his ludicrous socialized
socialized medicine health care plan, uh, and you're not calling that, and that doesn't bother you, but uh, you're willing to embrace fourth-generation rumors that uh, a million people were wiretapped, which is absolutely false. Not even Nutsy Pelosi claim makes that claim. Scott, let me, let me just try to dial this back a minute. Because um, it seems to me like you and I are just talking past each other and, and living in alternative universes. Um, I want what's best for our country. I love this country. I have children. I want them to inherit a good country. I want this to be a, a land where we all are Americans and we are all working for the common good. I'm assuming that you would say the same is all true of you. Absolutely. How do we find common ground? Well, look, one of the things that uh, I have discussed with, with uh, many liberal friends who, who have the same opinion as you, and I think the one thing we can all agree on is I would prefer a liberal, honest government over a corrupt, conservative government, and I, and I really believe you would prefer an honest, conservative government over a corrupt, liberal government. Is, is, is that not true? I will agree with that, sure. But so. the, the problem is... I think that, that the, they, they are both corrupt, Scott. They've been corrupted by corporate money. We have so much money in this system right now that, that we've got Republicans and Democrats who are both on the take. There hasn't, uh, you know, first of all, I, I would uh, defy you to name one piece of legislation that the, Republican, that the Republican Party, that Republicans have put forward in the last 10 or 15 years, whose principal beneficiary has been exclusively the people and not a corporation. And then I would add to that, that probably 70 or 80 percent of the legislation put forward by Democrats would fall into the category of not being principally for the people. In fact, maybe even 90 percent. Well, I, I think we can we can agree on that. Now, what what my so what do we do about say? It? At, well, we we are trying. First of all, the one issue that we have, are focusing on right now is we cannot afford trillions of dollars for health care, and that's where why not. Why? Because we don't have it. They've already spent it on bailouts and stimulus bills. Well, I, you know, I realize Reagan borrowed $3 trillion for Star Wars and whatnot. Uh, George Herbert Walker Bush tr borrowed another trillion. Uh, George W. Bush borrowed another three. You know, we're, we're pushing $12 trillion right now, and about $10 trillion of that was run up by Republicans. Uh, you know, and I realize Obama's that sounds like... Obama's run up $3 trillion in six months. $3 trillion in six months. Now, those figures you used about Reagan and Star Wars are, are vastly inflated, I believe. Okay. And, it, and even if it were, it's over 25 years. But, Obama has run up but $3 let's get, trillion in six months. Okay, Scott, I'll give you that. Actually, he hasn't. But, you know, it's, we, can, we, can, we can do dueling That's numbers again and number. talk past each other. Uh, but, but, see, it, it hasn't happened yet. And, and it, a lot of that depends on, on how these things play out. And, in fact, there's a, the, a C, the CBO just came out yesterday and said that if, if we could get health care under control, most of the future deficits would vanish. That's, that's, not the, that's not the point. The point is, how do we get, you know, you say we can't afford to pay for health care. Can we afford to have people walking around coughing with tuberculosis? We, we have no rash of tuberculosis, and there is. And Actually, we've had outbreaks of TB in New York and Los Angeles that have been of of some consequence. Those are two of the UN hotspots in the world. And do you know, in in any county in this country, every man, woman, and child can go get a, a treatment for tuberculosis, can get a test for tuberculosis for free, and can receive treatment. But my point is even, that none of us are even as a society. We are no healthier than the sickest among us. Why wouldn't you want everyone to be healthy in our society? Why? Well, the, because why not? you're well, because you're presupposing that our current system does not give. There's not no, one person no, here's, who here's, cannot get health care in this country. No, that the, is a that, no, that's that a lie, Scott. If, if if I show oh, up in the, in the oh. ER without insurance and I say, so you know, mean, I've got a little pain in my groin, I don't know what it is, they'll say, come back in two years when you're peeing blood and your prostate cancer is too far advanced. But my question is, if if you um, want if you to pay to to keep your house from being burned down by the fire department, why don't you want to keep to pay? Why don't you want to pay to keep your body from being burned down by cancer. Uh, Tom, first of all, there, if you cannot afford health insurance, you can get free government care. It's called Medicaid, and, and uh, th that is a fact. There are a lot of people, Scott, who are in the middle, who can't afford ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 a year for health insurance and aren't poor enough to qualify for Medicaid, and you know that. And, and why does Obama want to raise their taxes? 
Uh, he doesn't want to raise their taxes. He, he, wa does. he wants to raise the taxes of your Republican buddies who are making more than 300000 a year. <laughs> and I'm all in true. favor of that. They, they have raised taxes on the poor already. All right. Scott Wheeler, GOPtrust.com. You can read all about it. Scott, it's been a very interesting conversation. Thanks for dropping by. Have my pleasure. It is 16 minutes past the hour.